how did you first find that putting yourself out there for people to see you perform was something you wanted to do? Well, I used to, when I was a baby, there was a Janet Jackson song. I don't actually know which one it was, but my mum always used to play it and apparently I would dance along. Um, and she thought I could dance, so when I was about nine, I think she used to take me to just a Saturday street dance class, which I loved, I thought it was really fun. And then through that class, the lady who ran the company, Lynn Page, she asked me to audition for Billy Elliot, which is a show on the West End in London. And uh, I got the part. I was just lucky enough to get the part. I trained in ballet, in tap dancing, gymnastics, acting, singing. But it was a long audition process to get the part for you. You had to keep working at it, right, before you actually finally got on the stage. No. No, I, uh, yeah, no, I trained for about two years before I got onto the stage. Um, and the sad thing is I didn't keep up my dancing. But also, like, I trained in ballet so much. I got to quite a high level in ballet. And then you'd go to, like, a club when you're old enough. Ballet doesn't have the same <laughs> sort of effect. Hey, you know? look at Tom, pirouetting you know? Is that a pas de yeah, no, so I got the gig and then and I, I worked in the West End for two years, uh, performing three, three times a week with a great group of guys who I'm now really friendly with still. And, uh, and then I got spotted by an agent. Um, and then I, my first audition was for a film called The Impossible. I feel like I should just make up a film I was in and watch you guys cheer. <laughs> And that's kind of how it happened. That's how I sort of came into the world of, of film. Did you like